Hi and welcome once again to myvideotools.com. In this tutorial we shall learn how to emphasize any part of the image. So this is a color photo and uh, this is the original image and the later effect shall be in this way. The remaining part which are unnecessary will be diffused in a other color and the part which has to be emphasized should be looking like this. So see the difference after watching this tutorial you shall learn how to make this type of image the original one to a diffused glow and the emphasized part. So by watching this tutorial you shall be able to emphasize the needed portion of the image which you want to it. So do watch and enjoy the tutorial. Open up image of your choice. For example, I made this image open and then go to the layers palette and we shall be seeing the background as the layer and it has been locked. We need to make a duplicate layer upon which we shall be working. So just make a right click and you click on the duplicate layer and background copy will be the default name let it be like that and click ok so now background copy has been made as the duplicate layer upon which we shall be working and then you go to the tools palette and select the rectangle marquee tool and you select the figure or the image part which you need to emphasize out of the whole image so i selected that of the face on some body parts of the model this way when the boundary is blinking and then go to the layers palette again you can create a new layer by switching on to this button or you can either go to the layer and then click on the new and you go to the layer via copy or you can even use ctrl j as the keyboard shortcut now we can see that the part of which i selected or which you will select shall be appearing in the thumbnail and layer 1 shall be created and then to make it invisible you click on the eye icon before the layer 1 to make it invisible and then switch on to the background copy layer and we need to make it desaturated or black and white then go to the move tool and then go to the image and this some adjustments and go to the desaturate option as the desaturate applies here and then click on it to desaturate the whole of the image when the background copy layer has been desaturated we now need to make a duplicate copy of this layer so you again go to the layer and then go to the new layer and you go to the layer via copy just make a click and we shall be having the background copy too with the background copy too as the selection go to the filter one and then go to the blur option and inside the blur you go to the gaussian blur to make a nice blur you set the radius to around the 4 and 4.2 and then click ok now we have this type of effect and then your image should be looking like this one and in the next step with the background copy to still as the selection change the blending mode of this layer to linear light this shall enhance the lightness and then you decrease the opacity you lower down the opacity to around 40 percent so this shall be having the effect on the image which have increased or enhanced the light to the desaturated one and then you create a new layer by going on to the layers palette and you click on the create new layer layer 2 shall be formed and then you go to the foreground color and select the color of your choice for example i made it to light pink and then you go to the fill bucket tool and you click and you fill the layer and you set the blending mode of this layer to soft light and then you slow down or decrease the opacity in this manner by using the slider you can even change the opacity by using the slider you can increase it to around 65 or 70 by using the opacity slider and then you select the layer 2 and using the shift button on the keyboard you select the background copy 2 and the background copy also so leaving the layer 1 and the original background co background co background layer we have to select the middle three layers and then make a right click and you shall be seeing the merge visible or you shall be seeing this option for going to the layer and inside the layer option you shall be finding as merge visible and you just make a click on it 
but you see that while doing so all the layers got merged into the background layer but we make it undo by going to the edit and step backward and then go to the layer and this time I then simply made as merge down this effect also won't work so then undo and then I selected the three layers and then go to the layer one and then simply I clicked on merge layers so in this way by using the simply merge layers we shall be having all the three layers merged into layer two so in this way you shall be having now only three layers the layer one layer two and the original background layer and in the next step you select the layer two which is the merge layer and then go to the image and then go to the adjustments and you then go to the levels and when the levels dialog box appears you enter the first value as 15 and the second value as 1.18 and the third value as 212 and then click ok now we need to add a diffuse glow so then you go to the filter and this time you go to the distort and then go to the diffuse glow when you click on the diffuse glow you shall be getting a very big dialog box which shows the diffuse glow and uh, to come to the right corner you shall be having the diffuse glow options set the greenness to 1 glow amount to 10 and clear amount to 18 then simply click ok so in this way you shall be having the image now so then when you have this type of diffuse glow effect or the image you select the layer 1 and you click on the eye icon which makes it visible and to add some brightness or to set this brightness go to the image but before going so you select the layer 1 and then go to the image and adjustments and you select the brightness and contrast no need of doing any changes because the image is too good and then you go to the image and then adjustments and go to the levels and uh, you have to change uh, the levels now at the last box you enter the value as 180 and you can use even use the sliders here so while entering the value as 180 or any other value I can increase or decrease the brightness even by using the sliders so depending upon the image you have to set the brightness so I think for this image 242 at the last box is too good and then I clicked OK so now in this way the visible layer shall be appearing to you and after that in order to provide a border to the emphasized image you then switch on to the layers palette and with the layer 1 still as the selection you just make a right click and go to the blending options and when the blending options appears you simply go to the stroke 1 and you set the size of your choice you can increase the size and you choose the color here as the black or white whatever you wish for this image I made it to the black one and then simply click the ok and you set the and you set the size of your choice since uh, the black color border is too small appearing now so I just to increase the size to 24 and the position should be from outside to inside and the blend mode to be normal opacity as 100% so in this way I added a border in order to add some more effect I can go to the outer glow and add some more effect do not make any other changes simply you go to the size and you increase the size so in this way I added a nice border to the emphasized image and then simply click OK now we can see in the layers palette that we have the layer 1 the visible layer in which we have emphasized the image and the layer 2 and the background as the first and the original layer so this was the starting image or the original image which later on got emphasized and shows only the emphasized image in color format so in this way you too can add a very nice effect to your image and you can feature the emphasized image in color and those of the remaining part in other glowing colors so do watch more videos at myvideotools.com. Thank you.